When challenges come up in the U.S. beef industry, it's often the state cattle associations on the front line working to defend the industry. NCBA applauds and supports these efforts. One person who knows this firsthand is Terry Fankhauser, Executive Vice President of the Colorado Cattlemen's Association. Here's Terry with an update on one pressing issue. So the Colorado Cattlemen's Association and a number of livestock organizations reacted to um, a statement by our administration. It wasn't the first statement. We, we see many of these issues across the country. Uh, it's especially poignant in Colorado because the, the most recent situation was to remove beef out of your diet, remove all proteins out of your diet derived from animals for many reasons that are not true and accurate then don't bear repeating in most cases. Um, when an association like ours and an industry like ours is faced with these issues, we, we have to respond. And uh, we depend heavily on the partnership we have with other organizations in Colorado, but also nationally, uh, specifically the National Cattlemen's Beef Association provides us with a great deal of factual science-based information related to the products we produce, but also related to how we produce them. So it's a team effort, uh, but we're on the front lines of this today. And what we've decided to do when, when our administration essentially detracts from the industry and actually asks people in some cases that are very food insecure, don't know where their next meal is coming from, to take a readily available nutritious product like beef out of their diet, uh, we respond fairly resoundingly, but we do it positively. And I think that's important because we want to, we want to bring more citizens in support of the beef industry because we're just, you know, we're a fraction of a percent of the population. So we're doing a few things in Colorado. One is, is that uh, we've coined this meat in movement, M-E-A-T in movement, hashtag meat in, along with our hashtag better with beef. Uh, to be able to go into restaurants and see if they would offer a meat special on March 20th. And you can meet in with your family and friends, patronize those restaurants and restaurant workers that have not have been, they've suffered through this pandemic. Many restaurants, 500 restaurants have closed in the metro area of, of Denver alone because of the pandemic. So we're going to support them. We're asking people to go to those restaurants on March 20th, but around the state also beef producers are celebrating with events and bringing the public. We'll feed literally thousands of people throughout rural Colorado free of charge from the beef industry. The last thing that we're going to do is we, we're, we're donating proceeds um, to Beef Sticks for Backpacks program, which is a program started here in Colorado, and it also exists in Texas and other states uh, to feed hungry children, but donating to the, the needy, the hungry, the homeless. You can go to coloradocattle.org and click the Meet In tab or find us on any of the social media threads. Look for hashtag meet in, meet with an A, or better with beef, and you can support that program in a wide variety of ways. We're partnering with program with companies like Cheekies to sell some clothing, and all of those proceeds go to benefiting this initiative as well. Um, and with that, I, I, you know, it's just really encouraging to see engagement in the industry as well. Producers are standing up and supporting their, their neighbors, um, but also the individuals that live within the metropolitan areas. So we appreciate NCBA support and all of our producers. For more on Colorado's efforts to support their local communities and beef producers, visit their website at coloradocattle.org.